Hi guys, it's Janet. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a small little St. Patty's Day haul and decorate with me. I, of course, love every single holiday, so I'm not excluding St. Patty's Day, even though I feel like it gets kind of like overlooked because um, Easter is really quick after it sometimes. Um, this year, Easter's not until April, so you definitely have some time to leave your St. Patty's Day decorations up. I am noticing in my viewfinder that the light outside is going in and out, so I apologize if the video will go like light and then dark. But let me start with what I've purchased for this video. Um, I have been trying to build up my St. Patty's Day decorations because I plan some year, I'm not sure when, but to have a big St. Patty's Day party and have like green beer and green drinks and green food and all that good stuff. So I've slowly been building it up and I think I might actually finally need to buy a tub of its own. So all my decorations are stored in like tubs. Um, per season and I think I'm getting to the point where St. Patty's Day might need its own tub. It was kind of like mixed in with Easter before but anyway I'm getting off the topic of the subject so let me share with what let me share with you what I did buy. I have kind of mentioned these items maybe in previous videos um, just because I was looking for stuff for St. Patty's Day um, but I want to start with this t-shirt. I got it at Michael's. I think it was like five or six dollars after I used a coupon which I love Michael's coupons and then these little boas they're so small and there's one back here. They're from the Dollar Tree. Continuing with the Dollar Tree Dollar Tree actually has a lot of good St. Patty's Day stuff and now I'm li literally kicking myself in for not buying more when it was there because there's some more stuff that like I want now and they don't have because I've gone to the store and like um, yeah I just went back to look for some like white flowers with green on them and they're totally gone and actually I didn't find any more St. Patty's Day stuff but when I was there I did get a couple of really cute things starting with these like little I guess they would be kind of like necklaces or beads um, St. Patty Day beads but they're really cute and they say happy St. Patrick's Day on them um, I probably won't use them like today I don't think so but when I do have like a big St. Patty's Day party, I would probably leave them out for people just to wear. So I'll just keep buying them. Again, the dollar store, a Dollar Tree. I don't remember what dollar, I think I went to Dollar Tree. Everything's a dollar, so you can't beat that. I did get this really cute sign that says Irish Wishes and Shamrock Kisses. And it was only a dollar too, which I, I mean, I feel like this sign at like Hobby Lobby would be like $4. So I love that. And then I bought some gold coins. I don't know if how I feel about them. The ones at Michael looked a little better, but at the end of the day, I mean, you can't really complain. So they're just these little like gold coins. And then moving on to Marshalls, I think. Uh, I bought two things there and I shared one of them in a haul. Actually, it's TJ Maxx, but it's a super adorable little um, three leaf clover and it says Lucky. It's by Ray Dunn and it was $10. And of course, I had to get a mug. So this will be my mug for the next couple of weeks until St. Patty's Day. And it just says, kiss me, I'm Irish. It was $5.99. And I don't know if I got this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but definitely one of those like home goods stores or maybe even home goods. I don't remember, but uh, yeah, it's super cute. It comes with like the little green spoon on the side to mix it. And I'm going to add it to my coffee bar. Next, Michael's, which I mentioned I got this t-shirt there. I always have like the hardest time finding like something to wear on St. Patty's Day for some reason. So I'm happy that I picked up this t-shirt. Of course, if I find something else more adorable, I would get it. I just, every year, I never have anything cute to wear. Um, and then I did get this guy. I showed them in a haul when I was like doing a shop with me one time. And I just think he's so cute. I love, 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 love nutcrackers. Okay, well, I love everything, but I just think these are so cute. There was another one that I wanted to get to and he had like brown hair in which my husband was like, I should have gotten that one because he has brown hair, but whatever. I just got this one. I think it's really cute though. So love it. 
And then I got this super cute like garland. So I don't think I have, I'm looking at my mantle right now. I don't unfortunately have enough stuff to decorate St. Patty's Day mantle, but trust me, maybe by next year I will. So this is it, it's from Michaels. It was $14.99 and of course I used like a 40 or 50% coupon and I just think it's a really adorable. It looks a little dirty though. Um, it was the last one. I snagged it up, but I mean, it's a, it's a little dirty. It's fine though. I mean, it's fine, whatever. The next item are these little dish towels from the Target dollar spot. And two of them come in the pair. This one says happy St. Patty's day. And then this one is just white with little green shamrocks. I always do some sort of like treat bar that's kind of next to my coffee bar with candy or some sort of treats. And I found these at my local grocery store and I was like, oh my God, these are so cute for St. Patty's Day. And they actually had another version of this like Little Debbie, um, but I only got one and now maybe I thought I should have got two, but it's okay. So it's this Little Debbie, um, I actually don't eat these. They're just really kind of decorations. Sometimes people will come over and like help themselves to them, but um, I just think they're literally perfect for what I am going to use them for. And then last is this bag of green M&Ms. Um, yeah, they're just, they're actually mint M&Ms. So, but they're green. What I was looking for, totally love them. All right, let's head into like the kitchen where I'll be putting this decorations and then I'll share with you like how it looks. All right, we're heading into the kitchen where I'm probably gonna do most of my decorating because I feel like I might have enough stuff for that. I did clean the kitchen this morning to make sure it was nice and clean for the video. These are the jars that I use for like, kind of like the treats and they had Valentine's Day stuff in there, but obviously washed them all last night and are ready for today. And I'm moving, I moved everything over here. This is old stuff from a wreath that I had actually made a long time ago. Oh, actually this is new. Every time I buy St. Patty's Day stuff, I just kind of like start throwing it in like a bin. It was my Easter bin, but now it's getting its own bin. Um, anyway, these are just random little stuff that I have that I'll probably try to use as well. But let's go ahead and see where I can kind of sprinkle in some St. Patty's Day stuff. All right, I've laid out all the decorations that I have to work with here just so I can start sprinkling. I actually was thinking I haven't done any St. Patty's Day decorating before, um, but I definitely love the holiday and my husband does too, so. I had to borrow the hubby's hands because I need a tripod to film like when I'm doing stuff. But, okay, I might need another bag. <gasps> yeah, okay. But they look adorable. And then, Oh my God, so cute. Okay. So obviously I'd need more M&Ms. I hope I can find them. Uh. Okay. okay. I, I need some more gold coins. <laughs> I just put everything up. Here are the little dish towels, super adorable. And then this is the little St. Patty's Day corner and I realized that I don't have very much decorations for it. Like there's no way I could do the whole house. Not even close, not even close. Um, but this is the little coffee area. I think it looks cute. And I placed my little mug there ready for some coffee. Maybe in a little while, I'll have a second cup for the day. And here's the little treat bar. I wanted to put the gold coins in here, but I didn't have enough. And then I obviously need another bag of candy. And over here, I just put the sign. I'm not sure how I feel about it. If I found a smaller one, I would. These are my syrups for my coffee. And maybe I would do something like... Let's 
something like that. Yeah, I think I like this better. I just, actually, oh my God, I need more vanilla syrup. Um, obviously, use these every day, so that looks better. And then I just put the sign right there. I hope you enjoyed this video on St. Patty's Day decorating. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.